This video is brought to you by Adorama. The tripod is one of the most basic extensions to your camera, and we've all seen some of those tripod hacks before. We even have three videos of them ourselves, but let's for once use the tripod as it's meant to be, because there are a ton of things that we can learn from a simple tripod. Hey folks, Jordy here for Cinecam.net and welcome to Creative Tuesday. Now, Lorenzo is currently on vacation, so it's going to be me and Jenik today. Luckily, we have a few tripods here in the studio to film ourselves. There are basically two kinds of tripods. You have the Pro Video Tripod, which can not only carry more weight, but usually have some more professional features. And then there are the Prosumer Tripods, which are a lot cheaper, but they are great if you are shooting on DSLRs. Now, I have actually created a collection of several tripods in various price points that we use here in the studio, and I'll leave a link to them in the description below. And they all link to Adorama, which is a great online store for any video equipment. They run multiple promotions every day, provide professional assistance with any purchase, and their web store is packed with a super wide range of film gear. For more information, make sure to click the first link in the description below. Now, with any gear, it's important that you take care of it. It will not only increase its lifespan, but also give less problems over time. So, here are a few tips. First of all, whenever you store your tripod away, make sure that all of its frictions and locks are loose. If your tripod would ever fall or get a hard bump, you eliminate the chance that one of those mechanisms gets fractured. And tip number two, never place a tripod with its legs closed if you're not using it. Either open its legs or just lay it down. Tip three, you are at an event and need to run through a crowd with your equipment. The safest and quickest way to do that is by locking your pan and tilt, closing the legs and lay the handle over your shoulder. You can actually run around like this for hours. And if you have to do this a lot, it's maybe good to wear a jacket with thicker shoulder pads. Now, if you really need to walk long distances, it's best that you take your camera off. I leave my tripod a little bit extended so that I can fit my hand through it. Now, my sackler comes with a little short that I can wrap around the legs so that they stay close whenever I pick them up horizontally. You can also use a Velcro band or anything else. Tip number five, when you're starting to film, most people will say to you to first extend the top legs. It's more sturdy than first pulling out the bottom parts as they are thinner. However, looking from a convenience standpoint, when you've already extended the top legs and you now need to go a little bit higher, you end up in an awkward pose because you have trouble holding your camera and extending the bottom parts at the same time. And this is definitely a problem if your camera is heavier. It is really advisable to first extend the bottom parts and then the top. If you do prefer to extend the bottom parts last, then a sixth tip might be to close your legs first, extend, and then open them back up. Now, if you do experience some wiggle on your tripod, an easy fix is to hang some weight in the middle. Now, my Cycler tripod actually has a little hook for that in the middle. Tip number eight. Obviously, you want your head to be leveled, and some tripods have a ball base to do that. With others, you need to readjust the legs, and there's a tip to make that go a little bit faster. First, aim the bubble to one side and align that with a leg. After that, simply extend that leg higher and you're leveled. So instead of going back and forward readjusting three legs, you only need to adjust two legs one time. Speaking of leveling, also your camera should be leveled, or better yet, balanced. Make sure that the weight is equally divided. If you got a heavy battery on the back, you might want to slide it a bit forward. With a loose tilt, you can find out that middle point. If you then adjust your counterbalance and frictions correctly, you can tilt your camera into any position and it will stay there. Tip number 10. You can start using your tripod now, but please don't leave your handlebar hanging like this. It sets your elbow in a weird position that doesn't help you to make controlled movements. This is used in television when you can actually lean back and keep a medium shot of some host at a talking show for the next two hours. In film, you want to be close to your monitor and wrap your hands around the camera. And now you are ready to make some awesome shots. But if you're starting out, a little pan and tilt practice might not be a bad idea. Hang nine sheets of paper to a wall and give each of them a number. Start by practicing your panning from number four to six. Pay attention to start and stop smoothly. Try out different speeds as well. And after that, you can work your way up and combine your tilt and pan. To make it less predictable, you can ask someone else to call out numbers to which you have to quickly move to. Tip number 12. Many people think that tripods are boring, but in fact, you don't have to film static. 
There's a technique called filming with a loose friction, which is exactly that. You loosen your frictions, and what you end up with is handheld motion on a tripod. The benefit of that is that you have more control over your handheld movements, and this is definitely great when you're making close-ups. Shooting handheld on a wide-angle lens is easy, but once you switch to a tilting lens, things get trickier and you might end up with too much camera shake. And that's where the tripod with loose frictions comes in. And that brings us to tip number 13. Don't be afraid to experiment. Although a tripod doesn't seem like it can do much, we actually have 15 creative camera movements that can be done using a simple tripod. And one of them is, for example, pushing on the two front legs to add some fake slider movements into your shots. I'll leave a link to those videos in the description below as well. Now let us know in the comments if you have any other tips when it comes down to tripods. We'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Adorama, for the support. And like always, stay creative. Hey guys, as Jordi already mentioned, I'm currently on vacation in the beautiful Spain, Gijón to be exactly, and that's because today is my birthday. I'm becoming 21 years old and I wanted to celebrate it with my amazing girlfriend here in Spain. <laughs> so that's why I'm here, but don't worry, next week I will be back in the videos. I'll see you guys then.